Dolphins are very social animals, and whether it's a roar, rumble, chirp, or trumpet, chances are you've heard them talk before. But there's another way of communicating that you may not be aware of, and that's infrasound. Infrasound is a low frequency sound that travels through the ground and ends up as a vibration, and they can actually pick those wave signals up through their feet. One of the interesting things about infrasound, and a good thing to keep in mind, is that this allows elephants to communicate with individuals and groups from up to many miles away. Being able to communicate from long distances allows them uh, to know when, other, when they're coming too close to other groups. It'll also uh, give a male an indication uh, that a female is, is now cycling or she is, is an estrus, she's willing to breed at this time. She may send out a call for other elephants in the distance and that will give them the information they need. So there are many, there are many opportunities to utilize infrasound. We've actually had the luxury of seeing a few examples of this infrasound in our recent introductions between our adult bull Hank and our juvenile male Biko. Sharing the same space can be tricky, especially with two bulls. So we noticed right away when we brought both bulls into the same habitat that they spaced themselves apart, spent several minutes standing still, watching each other, and using this infrasound to give themselves information that would allow them to come close together before they had physical contact. This was very interesting because what happened as the two stood near each other, they reached out towards each other, but then there were times where Biko would turn and move back to where he was before. And that was a clear sign that Hank was communicating to him that I'm doing something here that I don't want you to be involved in, so I need you to give me my space. There's a number of different sounds that, that elephants make that range all the way from a very loud trumpet, a roar, all the way down to a very small chirp, a very subtle chirp. These sounds give us an indication of what the elephant's mood or attitude is and combined with tactile interaction and posturing can give us a good indication to how the herd is feeling. A great example of this is with our female elephants. Female elephants have a very strong bond. They use tactile touching and posturing to give each other information that is important for them in such a close social group. For example, we have Rudy and Sunny that have recently been integrated into our, to our small herd. Uh, we've been able to see a few opportunities of, of how they utilize comfort and touching uh, in the introductions that we did with, with Connie and Phoebe. Phoebe has clearly established herself as the matriarch of our herd. So all the elephants take their cues from Phoebe. Uh, Rudy and Sunny are whole sisters, so they have a close bond. They came to us uh, spending a lot, lot of time together. So you'll notice when they come close together or they're nervous at all, they'll put their legs together, they'll touch each other with their tails. Um, that's just one indicator of, of how they use tactile comfort. Posturing is a big, uh, a big deal with elephants too. Phoebe will, will often uh, posture herself in such a way that will keep the group from getting too worked up in certain situations because that's kind of her job at this point. Uh, and you'll see that in their faces. The, the group would generally gather around her um, and wait for her cues. So it's been really cool to see how our elephants use their complex communications to bond. And it's rewarding to see how these new social groups form.